This is some of the worst food I've ever had in my life. What is that? A baby, a baby chicken leg? Like that is tiny. It's a, I'm, I'm blowing on it, but it's lukewarm. I can feel that it's lukewarm. Oh, oh my days. There's no way. Boom, we are down here today, ladies and gents, at Favourite Fried Chicken. I'm putting my health on the line for you today. Where's the sign? What? Oh, yeah, Favourite Fried Chicken up top. There we go. They have got some immaculate deals here. Have a look at the little deals there. Have a look at this. This is a tight L road, as you can see. So we're gonna just bring it around the corner to the car and we're gonna get into this. We got a, a lot of different foods, so let's go. All right, we just came around the corner there. John told me this was uh, known as curry kebab. What was it, curry kebab well, cheese? It was like multi-choice curry kebab and chips. Multi-choice curry kebab and chips is what that was known as it before. Was, we used to pass in college every day. That's, we were always astounded. That's not like 100% gospel. That's what he said. He asked the guy in there and he said it's always been known as flavor for all your chicken. Fucking lying. Uh, fucking lying. The expectations aren't high for this one, but let's get to the car. It's just up this road. Right, so I went for a variety box. We got a bit of everything, um, although it doesn't look great. Now, if you see, you see the inside of the place, cleanliness is a massive issue in there. But we're gonna give this place the benefit of doubt, right? Well, I'm not bashing it, I'm not bashing it at all. But I'm giving from the cleanest places to the dirtiest places. It doesn't matter, it's all about the food. I might get food poisoning for this, so if you do enjoy the videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. Anyway, let's get into this. Um, 12, 12 euro, 10, 10 euro 99 for the, yeah, 99, yeah. for the variety meal, but I also got a taco dip as well. Would love the gravy, but they don't have any. Right, uh, right. A big enough burger. Oh. Oh my days. There's no way. It's a big enough fucking bone. There's no way. You got, you got a McDonald's chicken nugget in there. I don't want to, I don't want to come across condescending or anything like that, folks. I'm, I genuinely am going to give this the benefit of the doubt, but that's a... Uh, that, that that's is a, that's frozen. That, yeah, that's Dunkers, whatever that, that brand is. Let's give it. Not to dis disrespect the Dunkers. I'll give it a bite and we'll see. I dig it. Right, that, I think. Cheers. Oh, I'm getting on the car, mate. I got like mainly bread, man. Look at that boy. Jesus Christ. All right, let me just, I'm just gonna take a bite of this. What smells it? I'm gonna sauce on that thing. I know they probably need some. Yeah. It's just, it's a frozen air. Frozen. It's not good at all. There's no taste of it. There's just full of sauce. If you're gonna have a burger that small, just make the bun as small as the burger. No, I thought you know? that was gonna be a burger. I've done a place just up the road from this, uh, what's it called? Chicken Hut. Now they're doing proper chicken breast. It's a boss man shop like that, but they're doing proper chicken breast the way it should be done. Go on, have a quick bite, go on. Looks great, doesn't it? Simple, fat old bit of chicken on it. And you love a chicken filler burger, don't you? <laughs> I love a chicken filler burger. Right, next up, ladies and gents. I hate when they put sellotape on the, like I understand, but I just, oh, here we go. Okay, okay, promising, promising. Uh, You've got um, one, two, three. You've got four wings, you've got two pieces of chicken. Uh, let's get into it. It's, I'm, I'm blowing on it, but it's lukewarm. I can feel that it's lukewarm. Yeah. Yeah. They're okay, actually. Yeah. They are incredibly peppery. Wow. A lot of seasoning on them. There's actually way too much seasoning. I thought it was nice to the start, but then it hits you. There's so much pepper on them, man. Uh, edible is what I'll say about them. Yeah, that's, that's the worst thing you can say about it. They're not, um, it's not wet. The skin on it's not wet. It is a bit crispy. 
Would I be that disappointed if I got them? No, I don't think I would. Was it made fresh in your opinion? Uh, uh, 100% this is not made fresh. Sorry, my hair goes everywhere. 100% uh, it's not made fresh in my opinion. But you can see it in front of you. It's, it's not my opinion. You can see that it's on the things in front of you. Now, if I was, if I was to get a piece of chicken like that, which I just have, what is that? A baby, a baby chicken leg? Like that is tiny. Pigeon's leg, maybe. What? Pigeon's leg. Or a pigeon's like leg. Wouldn't be surprised. There's the skin isn't really crispy on them. It's okay again. That's a small piece of chicken, man. Just, can you get a close-up on how greasy that is? You can actually see the oil coming off. I can off. see your fingers, big man. Uh, oh. oh, not again, not folks. Again. Not again. I thought that I'd, I thought that I'd gone. Right. So, yeah, just for the third time, like, we're not trying to bash places, but... I'm an honest reviewer. I see a lot of people out there that are giving reviews that aren't honest. Uh, and I'm trying to give every, everywhere a fair chance. This is absolute dog shit, this food. This is, this is some of the worst food I've ever had in my life. That burger. Yeah. That burger is laughable. That sauce to meat ratio was about fucking 80% of like. That burger is laughable. We've got the chips. Now, from everything we've seen before, from everything we've seen before, these chips are 100% gonna be hand shipped, freshly made, not too oily. Oh, of course. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. So you're looking at 10 euro 99 for this meal without the sauce. Be fair, golden brown, texture like sun. They smell like the canes. Try the taco sauce. Oh man, I'm I'm so like I'm I'm starving here, lads. I haven't eaten today. We've got three or four reviews lined up. And this is this is hurting me. Big time. It smells all right. Taco sauce is the best thing about this place. Okay. When the taco sauce is the best thing about your, your Overall meal. place, your takeaway, you're in serious, serious trouble. With all that being said, the chicken I can eat, the wings are okay. The size of the actual pieces of chicken is horrendous. That chicken burger, you should be arrested serving someone that chicken burger. These chips are bang average. Atmosphere, mate, as well. Atmosphere, cleanliness. yeah. The clean, cleanliness, huge issue. Cleanliness was an issue. Shout out John the Food Don. Shout out John the Food Don. Uh, so Andy is a word scale. We're giving this one a 1.4 out of 10. That's my worst. That's my worst score in a long time, ladies and gents. Get in the comments, let me know. Is there anywhere worse in Dublin than that? I don't think there is, but let me know. We are out here risking our lives for this. So drop a follow, like, follow, share, subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. We're nearly at 1,000. It'd be huge if you could uh, subscribe on that. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. With all the confusion there about everything else, lads, we forgot to actually try the chicken. Um, <coughs> I just, just want to take you behind the scenes well for a second, right? So why do most food reviewers and people not do places like this because if you do a place like this and then other businesses see that you're slating a business or talking bad about business they're way less likely to work with you i'm literally trying to do as honest as i can on food reviews and get a following through that hopefully make some money down the line at some point maybe but the only way i can do that is through you is because i'm never gonna not be honest with what i'm doing um so yeah I just wanted to let you know, if you see my stuff and you're like, oh, he's always moaning or whatever, I'm, I'm not moaning. I'm just being honest with you. There's a lot of them out there that are not taking honest. money and, and not saying that they're taking the money. And I'm put just letting you know how it is. Put the word ad in a very hidden area. Exactly. Put the word ad at the bottom of the video and stuff. I'm really not trying to do any, anything like that. Um, my reviews, if it gets above an eight, I want people who watch my videos to actually go to the place themselves and enjoy it. I'm never going to give out a, a good score on something that's shite like this. This is horrendous. But uh, anyway, let's get into the chicken. Oh my goodness. Yeah, 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 yeah. It tastes like soap. Hold on. It tastes like soap. It tastes like metallic. I believe that happens from the oil not being changed frequently. That is dog shit rancid. 
get it just get a close up you can see how look at my look at my hands look at that the chicken of the cave right there anyway like well i'm sure more see you in the next one